Well, electric car sales are heating up. According to new numbers, Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with the latest figures. So, Tyler, what are we seeing? Well, we're seeing that I think those high gas prices are definitely having an influence on British Columbians' buying habits. New data from the New Car Dealers Association of BC reveals that in May, uh, 1,300 electric vehicles were sold in the span of just two weeks. Now, to put that in perspective, if you think about the year 2017, we know that 3,200 electric and hybrid vehicles were sold in British Columbia throughout one entire year. So things are just flying out of uh, the proverbial shopping aisles at this point. But it all has to do with the new federal uh, rebate that came into effect May 1st. And all that money that was put into a provincial incentive program had been tapped within two weeks. So that's $6.5 million. This provincial incentive program was topped back up to $10 million this past Thursday. But by Friday morning, it was already drawn down to $9.5 million. Once again, British Columbians are incredibly hungry right now for electric vehicles. The other thing I'll point out, though, is you want to get a Tesla, I think you're going to be waiting for a while, much longer until... Uh, we see prices for gasoline go further down, though. For sure. And speaking of vehicles, I understand there's been some uh, job cuts at Ford. Yeah, they're going to be making further announcements later on today. But what we do know right now, according to an internal memo that was released on Monday, was that they plan to axe 7,000 jobs globally. Now, about 2,300 of those jobs will be in North America. But we're still awaiting word to find out exactly how Canada will be impacted. What we do know is that most of the cuts in North America will happen by week's end. That's very quick, but the rest of those global cuts won't come until the end of the summer. Now, the car giant is making the big move as a money-saving effort. It's taking aim at 10% of its global workforce, but in all, Ford thinks that it can save $600 million U.S. doing that. Cold comfort, I think, to a lot of the Canadians that are facing job cuts by the end of the week, though. For sure. All right, Tyler, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Sonia.